This is like a weapon. I feel like I don't watch Game of Thrones, but I feel like this is something they could like throw at an enemy or something. And I'm kind of intimidated by it. But you know, we're gonna work with this. Hey, Naturally Curly World, I'm Alexandra. And I'm Devery. And today we will be swapping hair care routines. Yes. So, <laughs> so how are you feeling about this? Um, you know, I'm I'm like normally a lazy natural, so I'm actually excited to like put some effort into my hair <laughs> and to like get some curl definition because yours is always popping. So yeah. You know. How do you feel? Um, I definitely know that it will be a very simple, minimal routine, which I will appreciate. But I have a feeling <laughs> I will be walking out of here with like a huge, yes. huge afro. Yes. So let's see. We'll see. <laughs> so I have 3C hair and I am usually always styling my hair for curl definition. Um, I finger coil for extra definition. I like to use gels and mousses. Um, and I did see that she has a few, she has a mousse, so I'm excited about that. Um, but I can tell her routine is very minimal. Um, so I'm expecting to walk out of here with a huge voluminous fro, but I'm kind of excited. Number one, her step, it says to wash and condition with the Dove 2-in-1 um, and then dry my hair with a microfiber towel. So I'm about to go wash my hair. Now, since my hair is high porosity, like literally as soon as I get to the sink and I do the whole thing, like as soon as I wrap my hair and come out, I can guarantee you it's still gonna look like this because my hair just sucks up any bit of moisture ever. If someone could cry and my hair is gonna like throw up. So we'll see how this goes, but I'll be back in just a minute. So first up is the Gold Rockin' Scrub Me Down Detoxifying Scalp Scrub. I don't really use too many scalp scrubs. I focus more like on like um, scalp oils. So this is supposed to be applied on dry hair. Um, so this should be interesting. Um, oh, okay. So now I'm gonna go rinse this out. It's been, okay, yeah, it's been um, two minutes since I just washed my hair and this is, this is the nature of my hair. So the next step is to apply the Kinky Curly Knot today. Um, and I'm told I should rake it through. So we'll see how this goes. I use the Two Girls with Curls Lavender and Grapefruit Conditioner. And like I said, I'm into smells, y'all. My hair is feeling so good but it's even smelling better so i'm assuming this is what rake it through means but like <laughs> oh, this is already about to be such a mess oh my gosh my scalp feels amazing like i said i've been dealing with real life dandruff and flaking hardcore lately let me try this and i'm gonna do it like this because i don't want the product to like fling in my eye. Next step, apply Righteous Roots on the scalp. So Righteous Roots, y'all, is one of my favorites. Oh, I'm kind of seeing curl definition though. Uh, I use it daily when I'm rocking protective styles. And it's so many good oils in here. Oh, okay guys, look at, what? <laughs> Massage my scalp to really work the oil through. Oh! <laughs> and this is also great for stimulating your scalp, which is key for hair growth. I have bangs I didn't know I had. Like, curls are just juicy right now. Next up, I will apply the Beleza Naturals Styling Cream. This is huge. Um, <laughs> The next step is to apply and rake through Design Essentials Almond and Avocado Mousse. Well, so I got about that much. I'm just gonna rake it through. Ooh, I need something. Like maybe that much. Apply and rake. Okay, so I'll just do that. Ooh, and it smells good too. And she finger detangles, so uh, 
this is gonna be a little bit of a struggle let me just be gentle and patient y'all because i can already i can hear and feel my hair tearing so oh my mom's gonna be so happy when she sees this but you do like a middle part right yeah so let me just do a little middle part no comb no pick good lord so the next step is to apply the natural raw Extreme Hold Curl Defining Flaxseed Gel and Yogurt. Like I said, I'm about to just do a few squirts of the mousse. And this is the Paul Mitchell Lavender Mint Curl Refresh Foam Mousse. Ooh, this smells good. And it's, it's like, it has a lot of slip also. And she doesn't rake it through. She's just putting it <laughs> over, pretty much like on top of my hair. Just a little layer. Whoa, that mint is strong. All right, so the next step is to diffuse. Now, I, if you know me, you know that diffusing is like not my forte. I have um, had so many issues trying to diffuse on camera. I'm over here low key raking, huh? Okay, let me stop. Um, okay, so the last thing, Paul Mitchell Lavender Mint Moisture Milk. I'm willing to try because like this is, I'm already feeling myself. I can only imagine the level up that I will have um, after I diffuse, so stay tuned for that. Oh no, don't tell me this is one of those, <laughs> this is one of those like direct sprays. Oh, oh okay. Okay, so you said you scrunch. Mm -hmm. Scrunch, scrunch, scrunch. I don't usually scrunch my hair, so I don't even really know. So the next step is to apply Diva Curl High Shine. It's a spray, by, uh, yeah, it's spray, I guess. So, um, okay. I mean, I thought I was gonna leave here with like a Diana Ross Pro, but I'm cool with this too. Hi, I'm a new person. Um, I don't know where Debbie went, but now I've stepped in. I would probably do my little side part because that's just what I'm used to. But overall, the next step is to pick and fluff. I actually, yeah, Afro picks, they're pretty cool. They give you that volume. I don't know if I'm using it right, but. And I really feel like the definition is from the Beleza Naturals styling cream and then this mousse. Wow, okay, okay. I need to like get some hair advice from Alex because this is like a transformation that I didn't know that I was like capable of doing to my own hair. So I'm here for it. My hair is lightweight, fluffy, and feeling good. <laughs> Thank you, thank you. It's not Sunday, but I just have to. So I was, I was expecting I was straight up about to have a Diana Ross fro, <laughs> like, and I was, I was cool with that yeah. because yeah. I've seen my hair blown out in a huge fro before, and I actually really liked it. Yeah. Um, but yeah, my hair is a lot more defined than I was expecting. It is super fluffy yes. and like bouncy. It's soft. Wait, let me touch it. Yeah. <laughs> yes. it's soft. I like it. It is. It looks really soft. It's yes. like, yeah. My hair is like, you know, normally I have the fro, I have like <laughs> yes. the round thing, like my hair always, you know, gravity, it, it goes up, but this feels like, like it was the perfect cocktail of things that like moisturized my hair, gave me softness, but in definition, but like at the same time I have a shape, like I yeah. still have a shape, which is good, because I like a shape, I like my volume but it's like, I can also bounce a little bit. Yeah. Like I can kind of bounce it. Got a, um, got a little movement just there. Just a little bit, okay. you know what I mean? Just exactly what I need when I'm walking through. I can feel like the wind <laughs> like coming through the, the curls. Well, and something else too, I definitely want to point out is, even though I'm like mainly 3C and you're more like mainly 4A, Yeah. I, I just wasn't expecting like your products to work that well for yes. me just because like you're high porosity too. So like that's right. that's the biggest difference is I'm medium porosity, she's high porosity. Yeah. Um, so yeah. That's a huge difference. I like it. Yes, me too. Cool. Yes. So. Woo! <laughs>
<laughs> yes, it worked. Thank yes. you. Okay. No scissors today. <laughs> Please, no. I'm curious to know, what are your wash day favorites? Be sure to comment below yes. um, and let us know your top curly girl tip and tricks in the comments. Yeah, like, subscribe, follow. All the things. All the things.